and there's videos here I'll put a link to this too the best video that you can watch um, it says not for broadcast is 22 seconds I'm just gonna read this very carefully <laughs> this, <laughs> amen. this event has quickly become the American Meteorological Society's third most reported event of all time now I'm putting a link here and highlighting that of, of all time the Indiana event that occurred earlier in the morning attained the second place spot but it's possible possibly that should be possible shouldn't it but it's possible that title will not be held for very long uh, hundreds of witnesses continue to report this event in Ohio so in other words it's just unheard of meteorological activity and um, there's a lot of good info on here and if you click on this map which I'm not going to do because it takes a long time to render it'll show you exactly how many people reported this and where so when you come here click on the the red the hot spot they call it and you'll see exact you'll see the location and you'll also see exactly how many people like like for right here 949 reports from Georgia Illinois Indiana Kentucky and Maryland that's just in one day so um yeah, there's the seven three again so now now on to this now this is very serious so we have this to watch we have this to watch Let's see if I can unbelievable um, now I, I, I had the news on because my wife's uh, out of town for about another hour just trying to get updates I, you know it's kind of funny as I more I listen I don't really watch it I'm, I'm on here doing other things like I'm, right now I'm reading 1 Corinthians 14 good read you should read it and um, I heard him talk about the Brigger uh, I'll, I'll tell you right here I have a video on here right here this video FEMA sends me a red letter and a blue letter now every single day about 10 people come here and say that this is a scam and it's not from FEMA now this is really why I'm making this video uh, I, I put it right in here that Obama right in the description I put a link to FEMA but honestly some people can't see the forest for the trees or they can't see the truth when it's right in front of them they don't even read the video description they just say it's a scam it's not a scam here's a link to when Obama updated the Biggert's water flood insurance reform act of 2012 extending the national flood insurance programs authority keyword through September 30th 2017 so that's what four years from now yeah exactly so they they mentioned this act the bigger waters flood insurance reform act on the news and they said that nine states today on uh, September 28th were, were protesting FEMA for rate increases clearly clearly confirming everything I mentioned in this video and clearly why some people get it and uh, and their eyes are open that we are heading into some governmental FEMA and there's some things that I really wish I could discuss that I know um, about certain three-letter acronym agencies because of what I did for a living that if you know if I talk about it they'll come arrest me I'm not kidding you it's 10 years this uh, these non-disclosure agreements I've signed for certain locations that I see it in other words I work somewhere without going into uh, major detail I worked at places uh, doing armed protection and signed these agreements with three-letter acronym agencies that I won't reveal what was inside them or the location and then that was in 2003 now here I am uh, 10 years later and I'm seeing the stuff that was 
supposed to be locked and safely kept because it was dangerous inside those locations throughout the United States are now out causing pe people uh, harm. Right, see, now I didn't reveal the what or the where or anything. I didn't break my non-disclosure. But I wish I, you know, one day, I just, I just, I'm not ready to, to go to jail for 10 years and have them come knock on my door. That's why I'm careful. So here, here, I just noticed this. Let's go check it out. This is kind of what they were talking about. Uh, there's a, a Stop FEMA Now Facebook page. I, I, I may be late to the party, but I didn't know that. And apparently a lot of people uh, don't know either. Otherwise, I believe there'd be more likes on this. But what they want to do, it says right here, Stop FEMA from forcing higher insurance rates. We're, it's like a false flag. I'm here to tell you. Oh, here's the story right here. This is what's playing right now. Is this today? Well, you know, I, I really, it is. I really, just go here. Uh, Facebook.com, stop FEMA now. This is the exact channel I was on. Uh, really, there was nothing else on, and I'm just waiting for my wife, so. Wow. <laughs> Talk about. So here, here's the event. Let me see. This is working out pretty good. That that was an old rally. So today, there was another rally right here. Okay. Let's go to the Weather Channel posted nine hours ago. Skyrocketing. Today's date, right? Yes. This is the Weather Channel. Some homeowners can expect to face Here devastating increases in flood insurance after October 1st as federal subsidies end for many homes in high-risk areas. On picturesque Treasure Island on Florida's west coast, Colin and Joyce Elton are seeing their premiums rise from $1,482 to somewhere between twelve and $16,000 a year. If nothing would have changed, we have to look at the possibility of losing this house. The changes come as the government is remapping flood zones while also trying to restore solvency to the National Flood Insurance Program. Insurance that? agent Lee Gordetsky says with big losses from recent floods, he's not surprised the program needs to collect premiums that reflect the real cost of insurance. We've seen so many floods now, Colorado, last year Hurricane Sandy, before that other parts of the country, and it's obvious that the, the FEMA program is bankrupt. Florida is particularly vulnerable with heavy development along its 1,200 miles of coastline. Maps for some counties have not been updated, like Broward County, home to Fort Lauderdale. When they are, almost all will see rate increases, although for most, it will be more gradual than the increase the Eltons are seeing. Everyone's going to pay more for flood insurance. It's just a question of how much. Congress passed the Bigger Waters Act last year to mandate there that rates go. more closely match the true risk. But some in Congress are now calling for the law's implementation to be delayed. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel. Was that not amazing that they mentioned October 1st? So from now on, when someone says that's just a scam, when you got a red letter and a blue letter, and, uh, or that uh, the NFIP doesn't have anything to do with FEMA, and, and don't you think this is an odd name, like Bigger Waters? Bigger Waters, but Bigger Waters by Maxine Waters, right here in California. And here is the NFIP. Uh, so from now on, uh, when someone says that, that was, this wasn't FEMA, I'll, I'll just put a link to this video. We are heading in, and then, and then I don't know if they're going to pass this budget or not. We're being played, you know. They're going to do whatever they want to do. The, the, the government, and I know some people don't like this, but the truth is the truth. The government is the one uh, modifying the weather and creating some of these disasters like me for instance the flood insurance isn't required here and yet they keep sending me letters to make sure I have insurance but it's not mandatory things are going to start becoming mandatory that shouldn't be and you know like Obamacare I don't want his insurance with his name on I don't, I don't care what they called it I don't want mandatory anything. Mandatory anything on me. I, I was born free and I want to go home. I don't want to be a part of no mandatory system. So let's check it out. Er, look at this. 
everybody stay safe because they're just coming in by the minute. Uh, Matthew 24 talks about all this. Revelation 13 talks about all this. We have meteors. Let's just re rehash here. I'll put links. Uh, 